Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, this is Ty Bahasa And usually, I never talk about like anything else but sneakers. And when I do my uh, scriptural, uh, scriptural studies, well, today I just wanted to give you a quick um, review on this Epson XP440. That's the printer that I bought. I bought that printer about two years ago, and I just wanted to say at the outset, this is a great printer. I mean, the printer hasn't given me a hard time at all. It works fine. It prints all the time. And I've had to change my black ink because that's what I use for the most part. But then I got frustrated two days ago. And this is what I'm here to talk about. So as far as the printer is concerned, it is cheap. It is affordable. It, it works fine. It has never given me a hard time. Hooking it up is easy. You don't have to be a tech guy to know how to use it. It's pretty fine. Okay. Now, my frustration is, on, uh, is what I want to talk about. So on Saturday, I sold some items and I wanted to print out my labels to ship them out. So I get on my computer and I'm trying to ship this thing out and this is what I, the error that I get. So I'm going to show you this is my label. So I hit it and then you see what's going on here. It's telling me that the Kion is out. So therefore I can't print this. Okay. Now, meanwhile, the, the printer itself is showing me that I can still, I can't, I can't print. I have to replace the, the ink. Okay. I've never used the Kion, so I don't even know how it ran out in the first place. So I'm thinking, all right, there's got to be a way. Since I don't have the color printer, the color ink, I can still print black and white. So I went on Epson and I read on how to do it. So this is the instruction. If you look at my screen, they're telling you first you have to turn the, the Epson status monitor. It has to be on, which it is on on my, on my uh, printer. And I had to change um, uh, the printer to the um, black and gray scale. So which I did, I'm going to do in front of you again, just to, to show you know, because I wanted to show you that. I did that as well. So let's go on the printer. So I changed the, uh, let's do this here, manage and printer preferences. So you can see black and gray scale, I did all that. Okay. The, the, the monitor is on. So I was thinking, okay, that's what they say on their website. So I'm going to follow the instruction, which I did. And it's still, it wasn't working. So I'm thinking, okay, what is the problem here? Let me escape this screen real quick. I don't know why this is still showing me this. So I follow the instructions. Okay, everything that I did here, I did, and I went and tried to print it. It still wouldn't print. So basically, I was forced to go buy this entire box today because it has a Kion in it, which I didn't need, but I had to buy it. So what I wanted to say is this, like this printer, as great as the printer is, Epson, you suck in the sense that what you've done with uh, the, the, the ink, the color ink cartridges, that is not good that is not fair because i'm I, I should be able to print in black and white if i don't have any color and i don't use the color cartridge so i should be able to do that so what i'll say is this this printer is great but if you're willing to buy these and this by the way cost me about 29 dollars at best buy again i've had a printer for a year and a half two years so i'm not going to complain too much i've not really had to i've only had to buy the black ink for the most part but today uh, what happened to me two days ago was was pretty annoying in the sense that you should be able to print in black and white still it doesn't matter if i don't have any color uh, cartridges i should be able to bring, print in black and white so i'm gonna be calling epson and say hey listen that's, there's gotta be a way you can compensate me back because i'm never gonna use the the, the color I, I don't use it it's not like i'm doing any kind of work here so i'm not gonna use it so why do i have to buy this even though i don't need it this is just bad business and they're gonna lose business because of because they XP um, XP440 is a great printer. I think it's a great printer. But this, what they've done with it, that's just absolutely horrendous. And I don't, I don't like that. I don't like it. So my recommendation is, uh, don't buy that printer just because I don't want you to suffer the things that I've suffered. Because you're gonna have to spend money buying this for a long time, which is unnecessary. So just go ahead and save your money and buy a better printer. Now I don't know what a better printer will look like, but buy a printer that would allow you to print in black and white, even though you don't have the other color uh, cartridges so that's what i recommend so I'm, I'm i'm right now i'm forced to do this but i'm gonna be pretty much tossing this printer away and then buying a new printer because i, I don't want, i don't want to spend my money buying color cartridges so this is the only thing now again if you want to try to bypass it maybe that'll work for you follow this instru instructions go on epson.com and follow this instruction here if you go on here and uh, you go on xp series and X epson XP440 and look at the instructions now. Maybe that'll work for you. I did it and it didn't work for me, so I don't know why. So I would recommend recommend you to do that. All right. Again, this is all I wanted to say today. 
Thanks for watching this and have a wonderful day.